Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Kindergarten. So, in the last episode, I was joined by Miss Cassandra here, and uh, we started kindergarten. We're our first day in kindergarten, even though it wasn't our first day, but let's start our first, second first day in kindergarten now. It's just gonna say Monday again, I think. But, um, we're gonna do Cindy's route this episode, and hopefully, I remember completely how to. Take 310. You have to take 310. You told me three. I said three ten. Liar. I said three ten, sweetheart. You're a liar. So. So we're ready to go. We ready to go. Go. All right. Am I ready to start another day of kindergarten? All right. Huh. I smell money. Yeah, someone is definitely carrying more than three dollars around here. Hey, kid. You carrying any cash? It's best to just be honest. Excellent. Give me half or I'll split your empty skull with my foot. Fine. I won't die. Good boy. Now don't go telling any teacher about this or you might turn up missing like that Billy kid. Billy the kid. Alright, so go talk to the teacher. Tell her that Bugs stole your money. I've already read this. I don't care. Yeah. Bugs stole my money. He did? Interesting. I'll make you a deal. Bugs is a real troublemaker. He's violent and a danger to others. If you go over there and challenge him, I'll make it worth your while. What's in it for me? I'll give you a gold star. We all love gold stars, don't we? Um, okay. Oh, how I love a good kitty fight. Just go over there and push him a little bit. When he attacks back, just yell for me and I'll put a stop to it. Okay. Hey, Bugs, you're fat and your dad's an alcoholic. What do you want, Dweeb? I'm not giving you your money back. Get out of here before I squish you. Squishing me won't make your dad come back. <laughs> <laughs> My dad will come back. He's from Miss he just went into the store to get some cigarettes, that's all. Get out of here, I'll beat you so hard it'll make me it'll make him proud. He'll never be proud of you. <laughs> yes he will. If you don't leave right now, I'll kill you. Dying wouldn't be so bad. Fine, you asked for it. This is for you, Dad. Do not accept your fate. Bugs! How dare you attack another student? I'm provoked again! This is the last straw. I'm sending you to the principal's office so he can finally expel you. No, please don't. He started. He's a liar. He said my dad was never coming back. Well, he's right. And after this little incident, neither are you. Now go to the principal's office or I'll have the janitor carry you there. But... But... Go! Stupid rat. Couldn't be friends if you didn't... We could have been friends if you didn't rat me out. That's a little hard on how you do bugs, Rue. Yeah. Oh, happy day! I'm finally rid of that little degenerate! Here's your gold stars, promised. Thanks, I love gold stars. Hmm. Now you've got me thinking, though. Jerome thinks he's so high and mighty because he's the principal's kid. Why don't we arrange a trip for him to visit Daddy? Say no thanks. Uh, no thanks. Oh, that's unexpected, but I can respect that. Enjoy the rest of your day. Well, yeah. Understandable. Have a good day. <laughs> yep. So am I just going to spend the rest of the day like this? Yeah. Um, you have to talk to Cindy. Right, because we're doing that route. Mm-hmm. Just get the gum from her and then skip to morning time. Okay, skip to morning time. All right, so there's nothing else I need to do? Nope. There's an added stuff in this one though. Um, so go stick the gum in Lily's hair. So we don't have the pill this time. Uh, no, that's fine. We don't need it. Um, go to the door. So I'm not even gonna have you do this part. We're just gonna go do it. Oh no, no, you can't just leave class without a pass. Okay, can I use the bathroom? I don't know. Can you? May I use the bathroom? Of course, now that you've asked correctly, here's the bathroom pass. Gee, thanks. Just be back soon. Sure. Alright, so go show him your pass. <laughs> it's a hall monitor. Not so fast, there, little dude. I'm gonna need to see your hall pass before I can let you by. Okay, I'll let you pass, but I can't get, let you go any further than the bathroom. That's fair. Understandable. Alright, so ignore that. Just go to the sink. It's a sink. 
Ah, oh, fudge. It's a sink. Ah, oh, fudge. Dang it. Restart the room real quick, sorry. It was just send you back to the classroom. Yeah, I know. So go put the gum in Lily's hair and then talk to Cindy. I guess we have to get the thing. Basically, Cindy won't play morning time with you until you clean your face. So. Okay. I guess we have to get her to say that we have to clean our face before we can go clean our face, which is annoying and stupid. Yeah. Oh. Um. But before we do that, you need to get cleaned up. No way any boyfriend of mine is going to bleed all over me. Go to the bathroom and wash up. I'll be over by the dollhouse. Okay, then. So then go to the door and Understandable. <laughs> Understandable. Have a good day. <laughs> Why is that a fucking meme right now? Why is it so funny? Okay. There is a way we can get a uh, Monster Mon card in the bathroom, but it would take too much time, That's I think. So just wash your feet to wash your bleed. All right, I'll go back to class. Oh, you're back. I'll take that bathroom pass back now. Go back to your morning time. Okay. All right. The love of my life. So we're gonna do it slightly different this time. Talk okay. to her. We're gonna skip this stuff because basically the beginning half is the same, so yes, dear. No, honey, I'm just tired. Is that a breathalyzer? I'll take the test. Be a father. I hope we can work through this. Yes, I do. Keep it. Okay. That's so wonderful you would do that. Thank you. No problem. Wow, that was the most fun I've had playing house in a while. You're going to make a splendid boyfriend. I want you to have lunch with me. Okay. Alright, now it'll just automatically put us to lunch. Alright. So. What you're gonna do now is you're not gonna be a dick. And, oh my god. Ah, fudger nutters. What? We didn't get the card from feeding Cindy the ball. I forgot. Alright, well, we'll just do that again. It's fine. Alright, so what you're gonna do, get slop in a biscuit ball again. Wait, take a step back. What do you... How? We get a Monster Mon card from the janitor for feeding Cindy one of the biscuit balls, but we didn't go back to talk to him after we fed the biscuit ball. Okay, well, nice. Okay. I forgot, I'm sorry. How could you? How could this happen to me? I've made my mistakes. Okay, so now go talk to Cindy. Eat the slop. And now feed her the biscuit ball. Biscuit ball. And when she says that, are you ready to go? Say, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Now go. Wasting all my money. So wait, what, what did I need this money for? For nothing. We just we we just needed it so the bugs would attack us. Okay. Yup, she ate it. <laughs> Nice. Here's one of the cards your kids like. Let's get at all. Alright, now go over to her and tell her you're okay. There's a way to get another Monster Mon card, but it wouldn't let us finish Cindy's thing right now, so we're just gonna wait. So you're gonna grab the bucket of blood and get out of there. I'm assuming it has to do with the stolen box? No. It's the box that we had. The oh. one that we went in for the item. The only one who bothers with the stolen box is Jerome. He passed the door gate. Bucket of blood, Gib. It's a bucket that's catching the blood from that thing on the table. It needs to be truly vile to dump on someone's head. Interesting. Alright, now go talk to Sunday. Well, what'd you get? This bucket filled with blood. Oh. My. God. It's perfect. That is so disgusting. Whose blood is it? Never mind. I don't want to know. Me neither. You're the best. Climb up there and I'll call her over. Let me get in position. Do I have to do timing or anything? No. Hey, Lily, come over here. I want to show you something. 
<laughs> I gotta voice both these. Why can't you just leave me alone, Cindy? I'm so sick of you harassing me. I'm not gonna harass you. We can be friends. Just come over here. Fine. What is it? Now go over. Ah! I don't want to scream. Sorry. What did you just... Oh, you and your awful boyfriend set me up again. I'm so done with this. You've made me miserable for so long. Aw, oh, come on. I think it's an improvement. You're just so mean. I can't take it anymore. Don't jump in the hole. I knew she was going to jump in the hole. Goodbye, cruel world. I knew she was going to jump in the hole. I... That was a really deep hole. Wow, that hole is deep. Do you think she died? Never mind, I don't care. You should come down from there. And I guess. I like how Cindy's hair barely is a different color than her face. That was so great. You've made me so happy today. I want you to take this flower. It's pretty, like me. This way, you'll always have a little piece of me with you. Oh dear, has anyone seen Lily? I don't see her anywhere. Oh God, goodness gracious, why are only my characters talking? Nugget knows where the girl went. Nugget knows. Shut up, Nugget. You didn't see anything. Nugget, I swear to God, your messed up fam- Whatever- I swear to whatever God your messed up family believes in, if Lily fell down that hole, you dug. I'm pushing you in after her. Nugget will not give teacher the satisfaction. No, teacher will never take Nugget alive. <laughs> okay. Wow, that hole is deep. I can't even see the bottom. We're gonna have to get the janitor out here with the ladder to get him out. Oh, Mr. Janitor! I'm coming, I'm coming. What seems to be the problem, Miss Jiggly Tits? <laughs> it's Applegate, and I have two of my students stuck at the bottom of this hole. You want me to give the, You want me to put the rest of them in the hole? No, I want you to get the ones that are in the hole out of the hole. Can you do that? Oh, well, that's, that's less fun. But I guess I could do that. It might take a while, though. Might be best if we brought the ones that aren't in the hole back inside so don't get confused. Very well. Okay, children, we're going to cut recess a little short today. Let's head inside for show and tell. Um, now you have to show, uh, Cindy's flower. <sighs> we already read this game. I'm not reading this every day. A flower? That's pretty boring. What's there to even tell about it? It is not boring. I gave him I gave him that because he's been a good boyfriend all day. Trust me, it's boring. We're just gonna skip you and move on to someone more interesting. Wow. Okay, who's next? It's not gonna be hard to beat that, so don't be shy. Wow. Yeah. I'm ready for this one. So the reason that we have to get bugs sent to the principal's office in the morning is because if he's here when you show the flower, he killed you. Why? Because it's a wimpy thing to show that flower. So he's like, oh, you're such a wimp. I'm going to beat you up for being whipped. Okay. So. Wouldn't the teacher just intervene and get I like how there's only four students. No. Teacher doesn't give a fuck. Teacher likes watching her students kill each other. That was so sweet of you to show the flower to everyone. You really are the best boyfriend I've ever had. You can keep it forever and always. Joy. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, boyfriend. See you then. Until I undo everything by going in a time loop. I got the evil thwarter. Boop, boop, bee -doo, bee -doo, oh, hey, it's Monday boop. again times two. This is the evil thwarter card. It doesn't thwart evil. It's a thwarter that is evil. <laughs> okay, so we This is the are... far Cindy gave me for being a good boyfriend all day. Perhaps I could show it to someone who needs a little love in their life. Don't burn it. So... The next one we're gonna do is the first silhouette there. Okay. It's gonna be. It's gonna be Jerome. Alright. So, let's. Hmm. So, I think that'll be enough for now. It's not too long of an episode, but I think I'm gonna try to keep them to each day. Yeah. Each so, um, route. Yeah. So, next time on Let's Play Kindergarten. We're gonna we'll, go for Jerome. Yeah, that that that, that kid cool. seems pretty lonely. So we're gonna hang out with him. He's not lonely. He, he's lonely. No one talks to him. Let's be fair. None of the kids talk to each other except for Cindy, who wants to kill Lily. Lily for some. She doesn't want to kill Lily. She just wants to torment her, make her life miserable. And, and then end up killing her. Yeah, true. 
So we'll see you guys next time.